Hi, my name is Carl. Let's take a look at reviews in aligned elements. In aligned elements, it's possible to review design control items as part of design reviews. You have probably come across some of the inconsistencies that we use to signalize if an item has been reviewed or not. I'm right now in my risk control measure section here, and I've opened one of these items, and I can see that it has one inconsistency here that says it hasn't been reviewed. If I take a look at this other uh, risk control measure, I can see that it has been reviewed, but it has been updated since the last review. These are examples of how aligned elements can check for whether an item has been reviewed or not. So if we want to conduct a review, what would be the steps? There are a few uh, ways to initiate a review. We have a review section here down uh, in the Product Explorer, but I think the easiest way is to go via the ellipsis menu and click Add to Review. And once that is done, you can now select which items you want to include in the review, and I will just choose all the risk control measures here. I can now add these to an existing review that I'm currently working on or create a new review. So I will create a new review and give it a title. This is review at milestone two. And what Aligned Elements now does is to create a snapshot of these items as the initial state of the review. So the review has now been created and the review form is opened. And we can see that this is just like any other design control item, uh, an object with an ID and a number of attributes. We can see the items that we're gonna review here at the bottom. And we can start out by setting a due date and add the people that we want to participate in this review. So I'm gonna open this item to edit it. I'm gonna add two more users, Gary, and Anish, and I can now assign roles to them as well. And once this is done, these people um, can be emailed using this email um, button here. They will then get an invitation email and get notified that they are supposed to participate in this review. In the next step, I will now show you how these reviewers can add feedback to the review or feedback to these items that are under review. Once I have opened the add review feedback form, I now get a listing of these items again. Um, and I now have the possibility to give feedback. In general, either accepting them, clicking the accept button, or rejecting them and leaving a comment why I'm not happy with this particular uh, item. On the left side here, we can see some visual indications on each of these items. You can see that a green check mark means that this item has been reviewed already and it hasn't updated since the review. So that means that if somebody was happy with this in the past, it's likely that we're gonna be happy with it again. On the other hand, a red icon means that this has been reviewed in the past, but it has been updated since. So it's probably this update that we need to take a look at. So if I click on this um, red looking glass here, I can get a gap form and see exactly what happened since the last review. Uh, a yellow icon means that this item has never been reviewed by anybody. So uh, we need to take a good look at those. Adding feedback is done by clicking accept, as I mentioned, for the items that we're happy with. I'm happy with this one. And maybe I have a problem with one of the new ones down here. So I keep clicking here, and I'm happy with these. Let's say that I'm not happy with this particular measure. And then I would click the reject button. And here I now have the possibility to add a comment or upvote an existing comment from another user. And now I have now associated this uh, item with a comment and I continue in this fashion, either accepting or rejecting uh, items. And you can see here on this progress bar that Aligned Elements tracks how far I am with my feedback process. And ideally this should be then full, which means that I have uh, given my feedback on all the items. And once I have uh, completed my feedback, I will click the I performed the review button in order to signalize to the review that I am considered to be done with my tasks right now and I'm ready to go into the review discussion with the rest of the team. So I click this here and I assert this and going back to the review itself now, we can see that my progress bar is now displayed here in the review uh, section and 
the date when I click the I performed the review uh, is now uh, written here. So the uh, author or the moderator of this particular review can then track that I have completed all my tasks. Uh, we now need to wait for Gary and Anish to complete their tasks and give their feedback. We can always use the email function to send a reminder email uh, if we want to speed up things. But at the end of the day, we would then take a look at all the aggregated collected uh, review feedback from all the users and discuss what to do with this. And we do that by going into this display review feedback overview section which again gives us an overview of all the items. And here we can also see the aggregated results of the feedback from the team. So right now it's only me who have accepted and rejected some items. And we can then see if we hover on this button who has accepted it and who has not yet given any feedback. Um, and for each of the items when um, not everybody have accepted, like this one, it has a rejection, we need to take some kind of action. So some user had, Frank Marshall being me then, had um, uh, a comment on this and we then discuss in the team what do we do with this and maybe we want to uh, record a formal issue for this particular item in order to change this measure. I use this button then to promote the comment to a formal issue that is associated with the review. We can of course assign this to somebody to take care of and set the due date on this. If we go back to the review, we can see that somebody has now added, we have promoted this comment to a formal issue, uh, which means that it's gonna end up in the final review protocol. And we can now, of course, go in and make a change to this measure. When I open an item that is currently under review, Aligned Elements instructs the user that people are actually reviewing this item right now. so. If you plan to edit this, I hope you do it within the context of the review. Otherwise, contact the people in this particular, particular review if you want to change something. But I know what I'm doing. I want to do a slight rephrasing here. And I'm going to save this. And if I click on the Review tab down here in the Measures Details section, we can see now that this item is currently under review in this particular review. And I can go back to this particular review. And since I have now taken care of this particular uh, measure here, we can now close this issue. So let me click Edit here and venture down here to set the status to Closed. And that was the final item in uh, finalizing this particular review. So I can now set the status to closed again. Now, all the items that were uh, part of this review is now marked as having been reviewed. So if I go down to the measure section again and I inspect these items, we do not expect to see any inconsistencies regarding reviews. So this is currently reviewed. Now, of course, if I change this, We will of course get the inconsistencies that this revision has not been reviewed and the last re uh, review revision was one, probably in one of these two reviews. So this is a candidate for the next review. And this means that we can limit the next review uh, to the items that have actually changed since our last review. We don't need to review all of the items. And how do we pick out those particular items that have changed since the last review? Well, we can use a query for that. So let's venture into the queries for measures where I have prepped a measure query to look for all the measures that have not been reviewed. I run this and I get this particular measure then that has not been reviewed. And I can use the action button here to add it to my upcoming review uh, for measures. That's how you perform reviews in Aligned Elements.